Hey folks, welcome back to Deadly Premonition. Uh, now, last time, and there goes FK. Alright, see you later, bro. So, uh, this time, we are going to go visit Harry Stewart. Now, um, last time, this is, a, this is something I, I missed. I didn't realize this until... I'm going to check the weather. Okay, good. Um, I didn't realize this until I was actually rendering the video. Uh... Anything in there? No. And I happened to flip back over to Movie Studio just as it got to this part. The dude at the end of your extreme last time, that was Harry Stewart. That was Harry goddamn Stewart. Uh, I didn't recognize him at first because, you know, he didn't, he wasn't sitting in his wheelchair. He was standing up and he didn't have his cute little gas mask on and he didn't have his adorable little flunky there to translate things into poetry for him. But that was Harry Stewart like his own self in the flesh so we are going today to visit mr stewart this ought to be fun this guy has been a pain in my ass for most of the uh emily are you okay emily are you okay are york york i can't find thomas <clears throat> was he here no i haven't seen no him. Have you tried the radio? I've been trying, but he's not answering. <sighs> oh, shit. Nick? No problem with him. He's calmed down a little. He's still saying he didn't do it. No, actually, you I don't think he did. Thomas disappeared sometime during the um, night. He kept calling for him, but Thomas stopped responding. I I'm a bit worried. Well, Thomas does have to sleep George once in a while, you know. George has asked for permission to search for Thomas. Yeah, I let him... I understand that things have been hard for Thomas, but surely he's just resting at home. Uh, but I'm not against looking for him. <laughs> Tell George that he oh, has my Oh, how generous of you, York. Okay. As far as I know, Thomas always calls in when he needs a day off. Yeah, this is, um... We're human, and so we are limited. As far as you know, there haven't been any serial killings here before, right? Uh, that's right, but that's not... Emily, I'm going to see Harry today. What? Why? We have plenty of other uh, no, dates to follow, not don't really. we? He did invite me over, though. It would be bad manners not to accept. <laughs> Are you really an FBI agent? <laughs> I think the FBI would take a more logical approach to investigations. Um, well... Emily, serial killer does not stay within the boundaries of logic. Thus, you can't hope to capture such a killer using only logic. This That's music is not really appropriate. You go with George and find Thomas. Yeah, you you do okay. that. Okay, sounds like a plan. <sighs> Great, thanks. thanks. All right, see you later, Emily. Don't die. Ugh, I was an idiot for thinking he might be a good pick. Yeah, honey. I really no. need to work no, on my taste No, God, no, not him. Yeah, York and his imaginary friend are kind of a kind of an OTP. Um, well, actually, his imaginary friend would be me, but, uh, <laughs> ew, oh, oh, god, that's, uh, okay, so anyway, uh, now that that's done, I'll try not to run over Emily, um, wait a minute, how do I get out of here? Oh, I, I'm going the wrong way, shit, uh, Freak. Now, fortunately, there is a, a little flashy thing there to show me where to go. Ah, uh, here we go. Zach, we've ended up with the third victim. Uh-huh. That dive I made at the gallery ended up being a wasted attempt to save Oh, it was life. pretty fucking it's cool, though. Mess, Zach. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's a mess, dive. but you know. When's the last time I made a dive like that? I don't know, York. You tell me. Oh, I remember. Do you? No, no, I it don't. It was in my late teens. Oh hell, we you you didn't concerts. stage dive, did you, you York? You like punk rock, but we like different types of punk. You liked hard and heavy punk. Uh huh. Like Crash and Sham '69. Clash, not Crash. I like the more twisted ones, like the Damned, Buzzcocks, oh, Iggy Pop, okay. Joy, Joy Division. Division. Oh hell yeah. We used to talk for hours about the bands we really liked. But for some reason, neither of us listened to the Sex Pistols. I really? Wonder why that was. Seems strange thinking about it now. 
All right, excuse me. Excuse me, police business coming through. Oh shit, I, I think I maybe should. What? What? I think I maybe should have turned back there. Well, there's there's got to be another another turn up here, right? Excuse me. Uh, I'm pretty sure I need to turn around, actually. Muffler Road. No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's just really friggin' far away. Excuse me. So sorry. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Hi. Sorry. Pardon me. Excuse me. This is not Corpse Tunnel, is it? No. Hi, pardon? Pardon? I, we're kind of taking the scenic route here for crying out loud. Road's over here. So Whoa, shit! Where's the road? Okay. I'm just kind of guesstimating... Um, based on where this flashy red arrow is, um, where I kind of need to be going. You know what? There was one band that we both liked. Uh? We went all the way to New York to see them play. Right, Zach? Who? It took us hours to get to New York by bus. We got to the CBGB and we ah. were so nervous we couldn't go inside. It took us 30 minutes to gather enough courage to go inside. <laughs> Aww. And inside, we were shocked. Right, Zach? Were we? I'll never forget that feeling. It was like a the Ramones. Creek. Tell Boots me it was Creek the Ramones. Rock. Yes. <laughs> the Ramones. That song still makes me feel good. And Unfortunately, Sweary sixty five probably couldn't get the it's rights to it. I got in um, without being asked for ID. That, that was pretty cool. Days. Pretty cool, York. Rock and roll, high school, and Chinese rock. Sheena is a punk rocker and uh -huh. surfing bird. And I was so depressed when I heard the news of the deaths. Yeah. Original punk is one of the greatest gifts left from the 20th century. It is. I, I, they're still I agree with you. On wherever they are. Oh, I'm sure they are. Okay, so it's it's like right up in here somewhere that I need to be going. I'm getting real close. Um. Like, real close. Like, um... Like, I should be able to see it. Right? Uh, okay, there's there's the shiny green thing. Okay. Okay. Harry's Mansion. Boy, he lives way out in Outer Mongolia, doesn't he? Hi. Wave to the camera, York. Oh, camera. Mr. Francis York oh, Morgan. Shit. Finally, you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. Thanks, Michael. Okay, I'm gonna run out here. There's a phone out here, isn't there? No, I'm I'm already in. Oh, snap. Okay. One clock? Two clock? Oh, there's a phone right there. Good. i save real quick. Yes, please? I never noticed. It cost me a dollar to save, but I get paid to save. So that doesn't even make sense. Um? Mr. Oh. Francis, you're Hi, Michael. Morgan. Mr. Stewart has been waiting for you. To the meeting room you shall go to. Um, th did you just end a sentence with a preposition? Did you really? Okay. Um, whoa. The meeting room is through here. Please be kind. Be sincere. 
York does not even know what the hell. Suspect. Can I talk to him? Can I please talk to this guy? Can I talk yes. to Michael? Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. Sure. Oh, well, thank you. That that was That's very nice of you. Thank you, Michael. Oh, what have we here? Something shiny? Number three, Eroica, Fate, Passed Around. Okay, this is, this is going to be important, isn't it? Another phone? Yep. Locked. It's drawing room. The door is locked, but there's no keyhole. Could there be another way to open it? Obviously. Huh. What have we here? High quality beef. Hell yeah. Mm, boy. Give me some steak. Oh, uh, this is this is the guest room. This is, wow, this is lovely. This is very nice. Oh, this is important. Umbrella for guest room number two. Umbrella rack and a single umbrella inscribed with a two. Some prefer second to first. I'll take it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, high quality beef here. Oh, fine. Well, I'll, uh, I'll uh, come back for a steak later if I get hungry. Am I hungry? I shouldn't be hungry. I just ate at the hotel. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Now let's check this room out then. Okay. Oh. Umbrella for guest room number one. Why would they need to number the umbrellas? Okay. Oh, a suitcase. Uh, let me check on my clothes here real quick. Uh, looks almost brand new. No problem. Okay, never mind. There's, um... Bed. Don't need that right now. I just got up. There's a phone. Don't need that right now. Suitcase, toolbox, whatever. The... And let me guess, another umbrella for guest room number four. Four seasons, four wheel drive, four horsemen. Okay, whatever. You'll just take the umbrella. <sighs> okay. Five. The Pentagon. Okay. I'm just going to go through stealing all these umbrellas. Harry, I'm taking all your umbrellas. I hope you don't mind. Um, you just left them here. Nobody else is using them. Get me a sip here. Mm -hmm. And finally... I think I might have missed a guest room down yonder. Number six. Could this be an upside? No. No, York. It's a six. Just take the damn thing. See, it's it's got a little line under the... Well, it doesn't, but, you know. I'm pretty sure it's a six, since this is guest room six and all. I mean, just a, just a hunch. Oh? Oh. 
I, I think I'm missing an umbrella. Let's see. I still need one from guest room three. So three, five, and six are the important ones. I remember that much. Alright, where are you? Where are you? There you are. Umbrella for guest room number three. You had to scratch my nose there. <laughs> I neither like nor dislike it. That's how I feel about pretty much every number, York. Um, they're just numbers. And again, we are talking about a guy who consults his coffee for omens every morning, so... Okay. Um... Okay, observe. Statue Cavalry. Okay. Let's just try them in order. Three. Ah. Looks good. Actually, hold up. Let's look at it first. Zach, something is still missing. Okay. I need more clues. I'm, I'm trying to look at it. Okay. Five. Okay, it likes that one. And that would be... Yeah. Six. And I'm just, I'm just gonna hang on to the rest of these umbrellas, if you don't mind. Um... Little souvenir. Ah, oh, alrighty then. I'll run. Just go tearing through Harry's house like a wild animal. Sup, Harry? I figured out your puzzle. You gonna take that mask off so we can talk like normal human beings? Sup? Ah, there's Michael. Okay. There's the flunky to translate. Bow. Yes. Mr. Francis York Morgan, please have some tea while it is hot. Oh, thank Too you. Too much coffee for your body will make it rot. <laughs> uh, true you dad. You seem well prepared. Almost as though you knew I would be coming today. Mr. Stewart is particular about the best timing for all things. I've, uh, so I've noticed. Now please, drink some tea and enjoy the good health it brings. So I, I have to wonder sometimes, I'm does sorry, Michael Harry, but ever get pissed off like at tea. Harry? And just start making stuff up. I mean, instead of what Harry is actually telling him, just start, you know, rattling off dirty limericks or some shit, and then end it was so say so says Mr. Stewart, so saith Mr. Stewart. Mr. Francis York Morgan, some tea with sugar is what's best admired. Okay. By your body that looks so tired. So says Mr. Stewart. Just sit down and drink your tea, York. Come on. Oh, he's gesturing. Uh, son of a bitch. Harry, where did you oh, get these Oh, new seats? music? This is new music. This is new music they could have been using for a whole shitload of other things up till now. Mr. Francis York Morgan, those seeds were found in our town. In a certain specific place. Okay. More seeds are there, you will see, when you find. Oh, that come on, Michael. Space. Come back to me and we shall talk. After you find that certain uh, place. Ah, so, so says, says Mr. Stewart. Stewart. Looks like he's saying Harry, something else. So you like to play games.
Mr. Francis York Morton, a hint for you to find this location. It is most crowded and most quiet, and gives a cold oh. sensation. Oh, so crowded and quiet. That would be a graveyard. All right. So you're not going to talk unless I find this certain place. I'll play along. Graveyard. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. Oh. Tea break. Okay. Clear. Yeah. Give me my money. Yeah, sure. Zack, let the treasure hunt begin. <laughs> Oop de do. A crowded place, and yet it is very quiet. Uh huh. There. That's. Have you figured yes. it out, Zack? Yes, I have. I have, York. I have Must indeed. Must be the graveyard. Thank There's you, Captain Obvious. There, but none of them can speak. Yes, I know, you York. See? I figured this out before so you let's did. Get going to the graveyard. You're welcome. All right. Okay, folks. I am gonna take a break. I'm gonna save. Well, I have an assortment of vehicles to choose from here. I'm going to save, and next time we're going to go to the graveyard. I will see you then, folks. Bye-bye.